This is the third quarter Linear Algebra Common Benchmark Review, questions 18 to 20. A rock band charges $400 to set up, plus $225 for each hour that they play. So the total that they charge can be found using the function C, what they charge, is 225 times H plus the $400 setup fee. If we change the $225 to $250 per hour, how would the graph of the equation change? Well, if you want to look at it in terms of slope, we could write the slope intercept as y equals mx plus b. This looks a lot like c equals 225 h plus 400. If we look at it that way, we can see that the slope is 225. If we change 225 to be 250, our, then our new equation is going to be C equals 250 H plus 400. In other words, our slope has gone from 225 to 250. And we all know that if the slope goes up, things get steeper. So the answer to this question is the slope would increase and the line would get steeper. Which makes sense because if they charge more per hour the amount they have to charge in total will go up more quickly for every hour that they play. This question asks us if the towing company charges can be found using the function y equals 4x plus 19, where x is the number of miles and y is the total charge, if the number 19 were changed to 13, how would the graph of the function change? Well, this one I think we should draw. So if I have a graph and I have an equation y equals 4x plus 19, then I know that this plus 19 is where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to pretend that this is 19. I also know that my slope is 4. So that means every time I go over 1, I go up 4 over 1, up 4. So if I have all these dots like that, then I would have a line that looks something like that. But now if I change that 19 into a 13, where it crosses the y-axis is going to be somewhere down here. My new equation does not change the slope at all. It didn't say anything about the number 4. It just said to change the number 19 into a 13. So if I have one point at 13 and my slope is still 4, I go over 1, up 4, over 1, up 4 over 1 up 4. And I'm going to have a line that's parallel to that but goes through a different point. So one possible answer to this question is the graph will have the same slope but will cross the y-axis at 13 instead of 19. Question 20 asks us, a coach is paid $500 up front and $40 for each practice session. To write an equation for this situation, we need to figure out what is changing and what is not. Well, if we have the words 
$40 for each practice session, we know that if we have more practice sessions, we'll have more money. And we know that no matter what, we're going to have to pay $500 up front. So the total, let's call it T, is going to be 500 plus 40 for each practice session P. How much money will they earn after seven practice sessions? Well, if we plug in seven for P, we'll get our answer. The total amount of money equals 500 plus 40 dollars for seven practice sessions equals 500 plus 280 dollars. So the total amount is 780 dollars. I hope you found this video useful. We'll continue with question 21 in the next video.